And welcome back guys, GVids here. If you guys are new here, make sure you add and do subscribe to the channel. And that way you never miss out on any future video streams or anything fun like that. We're going over the easiest solo glitch. It's been around forever. Obviously this is going to be for the newer players out there. All the old guys who have done this a gazillion times and we all know what's going on. Uh, for the, We're just going to use Strawberry as a location. This is actually the best hotspot that we have for this glitch it has a ton of items to it um, but once you make it to this location or any of the locations within the playlist that I'll get into a little bit later we're gonna want to press start go down to online and do a simple server hop so what we're actually doing here is four spawn got a little dark on us well that's all right so what we've actually done is four spawn in the entire area for the collectibles so normally you'd have to wait for a certain day cycle to come here to grab one maybe two items uh, you might be able to get three or four here because it is a big city um, but today we're going to get absolutely everything the city offers this is just a bonus item right here um, so we're going to dig that up before we go anywhere, that's for sure. Normally bonus items are never here for me when I record, so I'm really happy to show this one off where I actually can pick it up. And it's a 1975 coin, I'll take that one, hells yeah, I love finding coins. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue off there. That may not necessarily be here for everyone, that's just a bonus item, but the rest will always be here for us every single time we force spawn it. Now, if you do get spawned somewhere different than I did, sometimes it does spawn you on the farther side of the city. You might not get everything, but you should get majority of the items. And if you really want everything in the, in the area, just do another one closer to those items that you've missed. Um, but anyways, let's continue on. For the 90% chance, you're going to spawn close enough where we can collect the entire city. So this one here, we do have another one just over there. It's a bottle. But we're going to save that for last. Uh, it's important not to go kind of too far out of the way, otherwise you will lose uh, certain items, especially as this city is quite large, and we are trying to cover basically the whole thing. Uh, this one's just up the top of the stairs here. I really do apologize for the night time. Um, I thought I was going to have enough time in between there, but the night kind of fell a little bit faster than I was expecting. But that's all right. Majority of these items now are going to be inside homes. Uh, there's a whole whack load inside the one building up here, and there's one also in the jail that we better grab as well. But this is probably my favorite location here because it's got so many. Everyone doesn't really necessarily like it because it is widely spread, but you are going to get a lot of items here, and like I was saying, it is part of that playlist that we do have. And if you do go to that playlist, you will actually come up with two full sets plus tons of single items. And if you've been out collecting already, you're most likely going to fill up other sets as well. And right now they are double cash and XP, so it is worth bringing them on over to Madame Czar uh, this month as of August. But once we switch over to September, obviously that double cash will not be there for us any longer. But let's go ahead and finish up here. And uh, this house has a whole bunch of stuff. There is a cigar by the front door. If you haven't filled up on those, you may as well grab that on your way in. Uh, just before you grab this card here. It's just on that table there, as you uh, saw on the front. Now there's two combs upstairs. Uh, one in here inside the case. Now normally, uh, once you guys watch these videos a few times and you know where all the items are, you really don't need to come back and watch these things anymore. Uh, basically, the only reason why we show these videos is because these items do not show any vibration or yellow blimp to notify people that they're there. So once they do the force spawn, those items that are actually force spawn to that area, they don't really indicate that they're there. You do need to actually go to the location yourself and pick it up. Do not kill me. How you doing, bro? I will wave at you, but I don't have time right now because I don't want to mess up anything going on. So, and then the last item is just over here, which is going to be another alcohol bottle here. If we can make it down without getting washed away. Where is she? There it is. And I'm filled up on it, but that's all right. At least I showed you where it is. That's why it's, it is important to go to Madame Bazaar, unload when you can. Uh, maybe not everything, but at least a few so you can always collect as you go. Um, but anyways, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure you do share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Whoa, shit. Oh, son of a... Oh, we're going for a swim, all right. See you later, guys, later. <laughs>